Hey, Weather Warriors, come on in. Welcome to this edition of State of the Weather Dress. We're talking about a change in the weather pattern across the United States. I'm going to go over that in a second, what this means for you with temperatures, precipitation, storm track, and much more. But before we begin, I invite you to subscribe below and also comment below, what's your favorite sports team? I'm going to have a little fun with this one, kind of curious. And then also follow me on Twitter, Cody Irvin, WX. Just opened a Twitter for this channel. So let's get right into it, guys. We're looking at the PNA here, and the PNA is kind of measuring your troughs and ridges across the United States, your 500 millibar height pattern. And when it goes positive, you typically get ridging in the east and troughing in the west. We'll go over that, what that means in a second, but this is around right now, and you can see it's moving way sharply off to the north here in the positive zone, and that could last through early May. So what that means, and we'll go over that in a second, but we're going to look at the CPC. This is the Climate Prediction Center. What do they say for this? Well, they've got the western U.S. in a sauna here, lots of warm air, 90% chance of above average temperatures from or through April 30th, okay? And then even out into the central plains, northern plains, into the northern western United States, you got 50, 60 plus percent. So very likely the west U.S. and southwest is going to be much above average. Central U.S., going to be kind of a, a mixed bag, but then you go to the East Coast, particularly the Northeastern United States and Midwest, and you got as much as a 60 to 70 percent chance of below average temperature. So it could be very cool in the East, and then the Florida Panhandle coming in at above average as well. So that's going to be your temperatures through April 30th, and then through early May, May 4th, or the 28th through the 4th, you can see that above average extends a little bit to the East now, very above average in the southwestern United States. Whoops, we'll go back to that. And then the northeastern United States, you can see it's below average. So that extends just a little bit to the east. I think the pattern will flatten out just a bit as we head towards early May, but you can see that cool air farther into the new northeastern United States. How about the precipitation? Well, you can see below average, kind of overlaid where that warm air was. So kind of a desert here in the Rockies and through the west central United States. Up top that ridge, kind of some ridge riding showers and uh, little storm events up here in the Washington area. And then along that trough to the east of that troughing and uh, potentially some northwest flow. We'll see what happens, but we could get some above average precipitation here in the east coast, particularly as you get towards the seaboard and also above average in Florida. Central U.S. kind of dry, so pretty dry and warm for the rest of the country. Here's the seven day precipitation. This is just gonna be through April 27th. Now, we're, we're looking at a lot of rain here in the East Coast. And obviously there's been flooding here and just crazy severe weather in the Southeast, South Central United States, and it doesn't look to stop. I mean, we could be dealing with, you know, decent uh, one to two inches plus if you're in this area. Way off to the Northwest, you can see not as much. Obviously in the Rockies a little bit, but still below average uh, for you guys as well. And just not a whole lot in the southwestern United States and also in the north central plains of the U.S. here. So now we're going to track this kind of every few days here. We're going to start off here Friday at or Thursday night here at 7 p.m. Okay, so we're looking at 7 p.m. We're looking at the height anomalies and just kind of the, the jet. And when you get these little nubs here, these are little mini short waves. You get little storm systems. Sometimes you get storm systems out ahead of them when you get that divergence. And so these are your little storm systems you're going to want to watch. The blue areas are cooler usually. And this is, again, this is up, up into the atmosphere a little bit. At surface, the coldest air is usually just behind these short waves. So your coldest air up here in the northwestern United States, perhaps also the central U.S., but coldest air is going to be in the northwest United States. And then these, this is your ridging out here. And so the ridging you can see is starting to build in, build into the southwestern United States, and that's going to cause you know, maybe some precipitation to ride down the, the, the ridge a couple of times or up the ridge. We'll have to watch that. Like I said, the northwestern United States, but warm, warm conditions coming into uh, parts of California, even as we get towards Thursday. Now, you can see the uh, temperature anomalies across much of the United States above average, except, again, like I said, the northwestern United States, and then also the northeastern United States, a few degrees below average for those two areas, and then a few degrees to 10 degrees above average for really everywhere else across the United States. 
temperatures for highs on Thursday are just at 7 p.m. here. You can see 70s riding up into the plains and then the southern United States, parts of California, Arizona, 98 degrees, very warm down there. And then the northeastern United States, 30s potentially, and then the Rockies kind of in the 40s. Storm-wise, you can see there's a decent storm system here on Thursday tracking into the northeastern United States, maybe some thunderstorms in the southeast. Another little low, like I said, with that other short wave, some unsettled precipitation in the northern plains and the northwestern United States, mostly showers and snow showers for those areas. Nothing uh, overly concerning or severe uh, for those two areas. With the uh, cooler air coming in, I think it's going to shut off the main moisture supply from the Gulf for, for any potent severe weather. As we get towards Sunday here, Saturday night, this is at 7 p.m., you see a decent trough coming in, another one, a little short wave here. And big time ridge now building into the east or the west United States. Another trough sitting off the coast could bring a little bit of precipitation eventually to the northwestern United States around that time period. And then also some activity in the east coast of the United States. Behind that trough, cooler temperatures along and behind it. And then warm in the east or western United States and kind of warm in the east out ahead of that trough. Here's your temperature anomalies. Cool along and behind that trough. A few degrees below average in the Midwest. 10 to 15 degrees above average in the southwest, a few degrees above average in the southeast, and then a few degrees below average in the northeastern United States. That's going to be the biggest uh, uncertainty that could change quite a bit with that the timing of that trough. If it's a, a little bit more aggressive with that warmer on the, the front end, it could be warmer in the northeast, but that's on Saturday, the 26th. These are just kind of averages. These will change day to day. We're just looking at the general pattern. Temperatures, pretty cool. Across the Midwest, 40s, 50s, 60s, same day, Saturday. Kind of warm in the, the northern plains, 60s, even into Canada here. You're talking about 60s. Very cool in eastern Canada, but then southwestern United States, 90s, close to 100 in some areas. You can see that storm system associated with that trough on Saturday, moving into the east coast. So yet another storm for the east coast. And then also another one with that other trough in the west coast. So you two areas, these two areas will be the, the, the biggest shows over the next couple of weeks. Meanwhile, some spotty showers in the plains, but nothing to worry about with this type of pattern. Then as we get towards, uh, we're getting a little out there now, 4.30. So this is going to be April 30th. That trough, another trough moves in to the east coast. Another potential storm for the east half of the United States. Big time ridge in the west and probably going to shut off a the moisture just a little bit in the northwestern United States as this map gets ridiculously messy, but very warm conditions in the west coast. Temperature anomalies on Thursday at 1 p.m. This is that same time, 10 to 15 degrees above average, the west half of the United States. Average to swing temperatures in the central United States and then the east half, about 4 to 10 degrees below average. And you can see your temperatures there kind of broad area. Obviously, the entire country is warming because we're getting towards summer now and spring and summer, but 60s all the way across the country, 50s in the northeastern United States, 70s, 80s, and 90s for the southern tier of the United States, and also Florida, pretty warmed as well. Then we'll look at one more frame here. This is going to be, oh, we'll look at the storm system first, that storm system moving into the northeastern United States. So another shot at rain, thunderstorms, and if it's cold enough, we could get some snow in Canada, maybe in the far northeastern United States. Unlikely, but we'll have to watch that as that 540 line gets pretty steep into the, the country. So maybe a chance at some wet snow showers. We'll have to watch that. Temperatures as we head towards May 6th. This is kind of experimental. We're really far out there, but we'll look at this for fun. This channel is all about, you know, just having a little fun here as we get really far out in advance. The pattern would support cooler air in the east half of the United States and the warm air in the west half. You can see a few degrees above average out west and a few degrees below average for the east two-thirds of the United States. Yet another storm system in the southeastern United States tracking into the northeast and then also another one in the west coast of the United States. So we're going to have to watch the areas for severe weather in the southern plains up into the north, southeast, east central United States through this time period. It might not settle down too much in that area. The rest of the country, the plains, the northern plains, maybe a shot or two at severe weather, but it's probably going to be just off to the southeast for the most part. So now, with that said, guys, that's going to be the, your quick 
pattern overview over the next couple of weeks. Like I said, the general look, cool in the east, warm in the west, a few degrees above average out west, a few degrees below average out east, drier and normal out west in the central United States, except for the northwestern United States, and wetter than normal in the east coast of the United States. And then uh, probably average in the, in the southeast, in the south central United States, or uh, southeastern United States, excuse me, but drier than average in the south central United States. Shutting down the severe weather just a bit in that area, but severe weather could continue in the east coast and thunderstorms as well. So that's going to wrap it up with you guys. Again, share this video, subscribe below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that thumbs up button, and we'll see you soon.